Good morning guys. We are headed down to McGregor to grab some breakfast quick and then we got to get planting. We got a lot of corn to put in the ground today. We're going to try and get all of our corn acres planted and then maybe start on beans today. Now a lot of people have been telling me I need to trade up a, to a different truck like use this on a weekend truck but this thing's just been running good. I am afraid that eventually we're going to overwork it here. It's probably time to put in retirement maybe this summer if we have some money left over. Okay, we're going to be meeting down at the BP. I think they told me, oh my, what did we just, what did we hit? And it looks like there's Buck, and there's Nate, and he's parking on the curb. Okay. What idiot parked like a jack wagon out there? That would be well, on the buck. You've never seen a small town parking? They park in the most random spots at a gas station. I thought we grew up in a small town. Apparently not. Buck, you got a new Come truck? On, man. Yeah, I ended up swapping out my old 91 for it. Gosh, Shane, I didn't know they lifted Priuses like that. Uh, more guts than your your little old Ford here is ever gonna have. Well, well, we'll see you, if well, she no, can. Well, no, yours has the V8 in it, doesn't we'll it? We'll see if she can last 30 years like the 72 ass. We'll oh, see. The way you, someone's undercoated the frame underneath this thing, I hope it lasts at least five. Where'd you get it at? Nate's dealer. He he saved the truck for me. He said, "Hey, I know you're having some fuel problems with your red one. Do you want to trade it up for this thing?" Oh, so you sold your old pickup? My old red one, yeah, the crew cab. Gotcha. Yeah, he did it just in time. The whole fuel system needed to be replaced. He's leaking oil all over the place. Well, Nate, did you screw him like he screws us over at the dealer? Oh, yeah. Had to. I marked him up two times. Well, does she run? Oh, no, no, Dumbo. Right. How else would I get it here? <laughs> Can I take it for a test drive? What is it with you and always having to try out my stuff? <laughs> we're, we're brothers. Come on now. It's What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. <laughs> oh, that was all true until 1999 when I separated our bank accounts. <laughs> That's probably a pretty good idea. Okay, Buck, I'm going to jump in her. If you guys look to the right there, that is the Mississippi River. Over there, where the hills are, that's Wisconsin. A lot of dairy cows over there. And that's the bridge to get there from Iowa over to Wisconsin. Well, I think I actually buck my truck over to Wisconsin. So we're gonna head over to Wisconsin for the first time. You see, two can play that game. Well, did it ride smooth? No. Things mm, ride rougher no. than a box of bolts. Nate, ready to get planting? I wonder you I don't have any intelligence I left anymore. You've been shaking your head around in that thing for too long. She is one of the smoothest riding trucks I've ever seen. You should have seen her back in 72. Smoother than a Cadillac. Yeah. Have you replaced the shocks or any of the brake components since then? Well, when you use it so much, it just gets smoother and smoother. Shocks wear down, absorbs bumps. It is, it is, it's smooth riding now. Uncle, I do remember you jumping this many a times. <laughs> you sure that's a accurate statement? Oh yeah. Nate, what are we, what are we going to race for? I think we race for free hay for a year or free spraying for a year. You got a deal. All right, I can deal with that. Because okay. I, I lose nothing in the bet. Three, two, blue. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Oh, they dropped the gear. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got him all the way back to Iowa. That is some free hay for us. Oh, I only lose four bales. Convenient. I bet against four bales for spraying your farms for a whole year. Why do you think I told you I'll take the deal? Uh, I son lose of a nothing. Gun. Well, we <laughs> won four bales, I guess. Appreciate you dropping me off near my truck. Oh, shoot. I don't feel like, don't feel like walking back to town. Screw. So what have we got going today? Well, we got to get all of our corn plants. So I need somebody to... Do you want to run the Magnum or the, the 8410? Or the fuel cultivator. You run the fuel cultivator, yeah, too. I can run whatever works best. Okay. Got the day off from the dealer, so... If you want to run the Magnum, I'll run the 8410. Both on Kinsey planters. Just follow me back to the farm. All right. You might need to go pick up some seed. If I'm not mistaken, we're out. Well, we picked up some seed from the seed dealer, John from Strong Source Ag. He's got some 1197 loaded up for me. And he thought I was supposed to be bringing a trailer. And I show up with the pickup. And well, I think we got her all on the truck. We should be good. Just gotta watch out for the stoplight. Well, you guys know how I was telling you about the soft suspension. She is really soft. Oh, hold on, hold on. We're good. It's like a boat. It's like a boat. It just, it feels like a boat besides we're on cement and if we spill this, we're spilling like $20,000 worth of seed. Control the waves. Control the waves. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. <No. laughs> when did you put hydraulics on that truck? We're good. We're good. There we go. Ah, right, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Hey, Uncle, uh, I didn't know you liked lowriders. Oh, um, yeah. 
She is squatting, boys. What's the point in owning a trailer if you don't use it? What trailer? Your gooseneck trailer around Oh, back. yeah, I forgot about that. Don't use it much. Who's getting up there and throwing that seed down here? I got it. I got it. You wimps. Here, get the skid loader or something. Do we even have a skid loader? What skid loader? <laughs> you don't own a skid loader. We don't got these things. Nate, be careful with that. Nate. <laughs> Nate. <laughs> oh, oh. Be careful. Be careful. Not on the planter. Not on the planter. <laughs> oh. I'm getting out of here before disaster strikes so 28 we're gonna put in corn but it needs nitrogen on it which okay. means can you run down to the co-op and get in an hydrous bar and put nitrogen down yeah i can do that okay talk to larry there they should have one for rent okay where do you want this to be sitting in the shed over here you need to be in cold storage shed over here that's the thing with two tracks you can turn these things so tight works nice for backing stuff in there you go keep coming keep coming Oh, that should be good. I'll get you unhooked. Got it. Yep. Okay, so right now we have about like a half or a third of this field done. Nate's going with the 8410 out here. And so because we built our farm right here, like it's it's weird. It's not a straight back and forth field. So he'll keep going there and I'll most likely start doing these rows back here and work our way over. And then we'll have to kind of go back and forth along here. The field is really odd shaped. And then we got to plant 28 in corn also. I just realized we're about empty with fuel. We need to put some more diesel in this tractor. So I'm gonna pull her around and toss some diesel in her. Some high dollar diesel, it's expensive. There we go, she's fueling and she is full. So what we'll do, drop the planter down, do a headland around here, and then we'll get going back and forth on the on the rows here. As Iowan Farmer Ben says, planter yoga. So that we're gonna variable rate some N. You can see that like the flag, and we're gonna add about 40, we'll call it 40 pounds, it's 40 kilograms. I'm just gonna call it pounds because that's what we do in the US. We're gonna add 40 pounds over there to get to our yield goal of about 200 pounds on this ground set up for corn. And we are planting. And th for some reason, this uh, this tractor's pulling the planter like a lot easier. We're pulling at nine mile an hour here. And before, I think we were only pulling at like six or seven. Well, now we're starting to get down there. Now this is probably the most important pass right here because I'm gonna drive by this for the next like three months. And if I screw this up, I'm gonna curse myself probably every day. So we gotta make sure this looks nice. And this pass right here is for the neighbors. We gotta make sure this looks nice because our neighbors are gonna drive by it every day. If our neighbors realize we can't plant corn straight, it's over for us. And there we go, everything's working good. So we got our N units down, putting in nitrogen, and it's variable rating, adjusting the load. You can look up there in the top left, and you can see it variable rating. And then we got our row cleaners, clearing out a nice little seed trench for the seed, getting all the residue out of the way. Everything's looking good on field view here. Everything's planting good. We're planting out about 34,000 plants per acre, which is a little high, but this is some good productive ground. So it'll be interesting to see what it yields. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're on the other side of this hill. I don't know if the CB's in range. You hear me now? Yep, yeah, loud and clear. Perfect. All right, uh, TSC had, uh, in hires listed about 400 bucks a ton. Co-op had a three-tank system with a, I believe, what it would be, a 40-foot toolbar? 50-foot? Okay. I don't know. It's got the extensions on the end of the wings. Okay. But I'm hauling that back. They, I'm not sure technically. They say they'll bill you the cost of it all. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm about halfway back now. Did they say how many tanks it's going to take? Hard telling. Okay. I didn't really get very much information what I'm supposed to be doing, so... Okay. I just picked it up and filled up the tanks and I headed north. Well, east. Okay, we should be good. If you need me to run tanks or something, I can do that here once I get the end rows done. You ain't pulling this thing with your truck, that's for certain. Oh, shoot. We're getting in a muddy spot down here. It's a little wet still. I thought maybe the cultivator would dry it out. We should be good, though. Okay, Buck, how long until you're here? Uh, I think I'm coming up on about a quarter mile to your driveway, so I'll know the best way to get back there. Do I take the county road? Take the dirt road before you get to my driveway. Take it east. County road 30. Yeah, yeah, take that road. And then I just wrap around the section and come down to the bottom side? Yeah, that's it sucks getting there, but that's probably the fastest way. I'll get down there. We'll start laying some gas. Okay. Now, this is exactly why we built on this farm this is like beautiful through here look at this we got a creek run through as much as i hate it splitting up the farm it, it it makes really beautiful creek and then we got nice hunting in the fall a lot of pheasants sit along here and you can hunt pheasant so it's kind of nice and then on top of the hill we got the farm how are you doing all seed over there 
<laughs> We're running out of seed quick. This high population uh, yeah. planting isn't doing us much justice. I'm about 72% full. Yeah, I'm at 4% left. So oh my gosh, you need seed long already? Long. Yeah. Hey Grant, aren't you able to get live updates on your uh on your iPad over there? Yeah. Say, so, do you want to check what we're putting down for uh, pounds wise? I think this is looking at least on my on my system on the monitor. It says it's putting down the right amount, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Yep. Yeah. No. You're uh, you're you're running 180, 200 pounds. That's perfect. You run two. Yeah. You run 200 pounds, Buck. We'll probably want to be at 220, but we're gonna put a little liquid in with the planter. So we'll add 20 more units or so, and that'll be perfect. All right, says so I just I was able to just set it up as an automatic where it'll be able to tell where it needs to go, but yeah. it's looking like it's putting it down pretty strong. So how big a toolbar is that? That looks wide. It's what I said it's like a 50 foot toolbar. I was gonna say I'm planting with a 16 or I'm planting with a 40 foot planter over here, and my strip looks a lot smaller than yours. That's gonna be like a 50 or 60 foot. Gosh dang. It was a big boy. Well, let me know if you need any help over there. Be careful with uh, that stuff. Some nasty stuff. Hey, Buck, you dummy, you still got your flashers on. Ah, uh, stay. I, that is a... <laughs> there you go. Leave me alone. <laughs> All good. I always forget to turn off my flashers. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I got Daniel in the planner. He took over quick because we got to go run, grab some tanks, some anhydrous tanks for Buck. So my truck, as much as I love the 72, it does not weigh enough because those tanks get heavy. And so we got Nate's one ton, actually F450. It's lit up like a Christmas tree on the dash with check engine lights, but other than that, it's a solid truck. But we're gonna use it to pull in hydrous tanks. Man, I like this truck. And she has some power to her. I think it's got the 6.0 in it. Holy Toledo, doing 75. Okay, we got an anhydrous tank back here. And this is a big boy. And so we gotta find the anhydrous fill station. Okay, so we'll pull through here and one of the workers will fill it for us if we can get lined up right. I'm only gonna fill these tanks like half full because that's all Buck needs. So we should be good and we're on the road. Just gotta keep it under 40 though because you do not want to crash with these tanks. In American farming, we actually have character customization. I think we showed it off, but we have a gas mask that you wear, that you can wear when you're applying in hydrous in the game. Hey Buck, you on the CB there? Yeah. Hey, I'm not far. Are you you about empty? Uh, by the looks of it, I still might be closing in on about half a tank. But here's the deal. I'm looking on my iPad. I see you have that plot 21 up there. The readings on that are pretty much garbage and gone. Do you want me to run up there and do that? Or did you guys already plant that one? No, we didn't plant it yet. It's in sunflowers. We still got it. It's in like dead sunflower residue. We got to rip up those sunflowers. We're going to plant some beans. Acts as a, say, well, we can, I can act, this thing acts as a cultivator, so I can run up there and do that with this. Okay. Well, we could run a trial on if uh, nitrogen actually enhances yield on beans. It'd be cool. I mean... Ends cheap right now. It'd be kind of cool to run a trial on that. Put a couple of pounds down. If you just want to leave that on the north side of the field, then, well, south side of the field, then we can just do that. Okay. All right, boys, that's all she wrote on that tank. I'm going to swap out for the other one. Okay, we got the tank unhooked. And then Buck going to pull around. Well, I shoot. I put it in a bad spot. Son of a gun. He's going to be mad. There you got go. It. Yeah, I got the lines hooked up. You should be good. And there he goes. Buck is off with a new tank. Okay, we are knocking out some end rows quick. And then Nate got all the stuff done on the east side of the farm. So we are just run back and forth. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what we got done so far. We got 27 this far planned so far. We got a couple strips here. And then we gotta like go back and forth over here. And then I have to field cultivate 21 also, which is in sunflower. So we gotta get that whole field level and ready to go. So how full was that thing when you left it? Do I it, need to bring seed down to it? Uh, you probably should. It's 75% full, I'd say. If you wanna go grab some more seed. I know off Nate, so. Nate must be planting at a higher population because he runs out quick, it seems like. Yeah, that and he also, doesn't his have like the oh, whole be careful like, for the old... setup? Oh, she's good, okay. I took it out of the angle. Okay. Grandpa taught us right. Just I'm not sure if your truck can handle it with all the ground clearance your thing doesn't have. We're going to back up to the field cultivator. Get this thing hooked up. And we got our last field. We got two more fields to plant, but this is going to be the last field we have to work ground on. Got her hooked up. We should be good to go. And we'll get the flashers going somewhere over there. 
flashers are going and we'll hit the road we're gonna get the cultivator unfolded and unfortunately we got to rip this stuff up so for now we're just gonna rip this stuff up it's going to beans beans are way more profitable than sunflowers so we're gonna drop her down and get her worked drop her down in and if we can get the headlands here i've never ran this tractor actually we'll see how it does both buck and nate have saying they like the 9630 one thing about this tractor though is this thing is wide, or the, sorry, the fuel cultivator is wide. And luckily the 9630, usually when you're in flat ground, it seems like you can pull it at nine mile an hour. So we got like, I think this is 60 foot or 62 foot cultivator. We can knock out a lot of acres quick with this thing. Yes, just finishing up. All right, that's good. Well, because me and I'm just putting on the last little bit right now, and we are now done with the corn. Okay. Well, we got one more field of beans to plant, and then we'll be done. But we'll probably knock that out tomorrow. We got rain coming in a couple of hours here. Yes, sir. I know that. Sure. I'm at the uh, field exit here. I'm going to head uh, northbound towards the house. Okay. I'll meet you guys yeah. up there soon. I'm almost done. Okay. We are done with that field. We'll get her folded up. And yeah, we are done. I gotta figure out where, we gotta put a better driveway into this field, like a driveway approach. There's one kind of right here where we can cut through the ditch. With a two track, it's a little sketchy, especially if it's muddy getting out of here, but we should be able to climb this. There we go. Maneuver our way out of the field, turn on the flashers, and we are done. Ooh, I think we beat Buck back. It looks like Buck's coming down right there. And then Nate might already be, yeah, Nate's right here because he cut across the creek. I hope I don't hit Nate's truck with the shanks. We should be good. And there comes Renaman Buck. Got our corn planted. On to beans now. Well, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Corn Planting. Definitely go check out Nate's channel down below. He's trying to get a YouTube channel started down below. He's got a lot of great content there. I'll have the link down below. And hey, we will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to try and get a truck bot the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.